At first I just was looking for a YouTuber and I saw this YouTuber named Brackies. I watched one of his YouTube videos and I was like, that looks so much fun. So I wanted to try it for myself and since he was using Unity, I wanted to try Unity out. So I tried Unity out and it was just fun and I wanted to do it. I just continued watching Brackies or go on Unity website and just watched videos and look at the scripts and just created scripts, learned how to write them and then I just continued until I learned the script. A game is just mostly backgrounds, scenes and places but the scripts, there are like a lot of scripts, can be thousands of scripts on one game but like it's not really the scripts that are most important in game engines. It's mostly the scenery and the level design. You can watch Brackies or a YouTuber that does Unity or you can watch the Unity tutorials and you can st learn it but you won't need superly expert coding thing to understand Unity and get to use it. You don't need to be an expert. I just think about something I want to do and I just think hmm, what would be a good game and what would the audience like so I just think and think and think until I get an idea but sometimes I just go YOLO you only live once and I just create a game I just think random ideas and just do it I'll either look through the back to the video or if it's a problem I'll try to figure it out myself. Um, I can maybe ask my parents so they can explain it to me or I can just ask my coding club leader. At St Michael's there is now a coding club. Assets are little things. You can get like new things like little tools to help you create scenery and all that or like trees, adds new trees, props. You can't release a game if somebody already taken it. Like if somebody already had an idea, if you want to do a game based on another game, you have to change a lot of things and a lot of scripts and maybe change the whole thing like where it's based on, new stuff, delete some stuff from the original game, add some new items, delete some items try to keep it away from too similar and not causing a copyright. You can usually upload it onto a website or you can just release it on something, for example, Steam. It's a very popular marketplace where you can get games or you can upload it to Microsoft and you can get earn some money from doing it and if it's successful you can earn millions. Well, it can actually help them really dramatically to learn how real coding is because Scratch can be too easy and it's not similar to real game engines. So Unity can be a big help because it's easy and it lets you learn to know what real game engines are. I want to do this because it's just really fun and it's my dream job. It's just really enjoyable and it's just, it's kind of like addicting to me. It's just really fun to see and test out new things and then see how they turn out.